Hey there, Lick and Riffers, and welcome back to another awesome fingerstyle lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which you're gonna learn a really interesting way to turn E minor and A into something a lot richer, a lot more sophisticated, and a lot more beautiful than just playing E minor and A as they are. Now, if you're playing E minor and A, you're already in sophisticated territory because E natural minor requires E minor and A minor. But if you're playing E minor and A, you're actually in mode territory. You're playing E Dorian. You're playing the Dorian sound. So E minor and A are a really cool chord progression in and of itself. Okay? Right? It's beautiful. It has its internal tension because of the C sharp note. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn these chords, E minor and A, into something a little more finger style-y, okay? Because for E minor, you don't really have to put anything on. You can just play strings one, two, three, and six, so why not play E minor seven? With three and three on strings one and two. Okay, now if you want to play with the bass strings, you can put E minor on and add three and three on strings one and two. And then when it comes to A, you can play this. Okay, and then you get this. Which is... A add 9, but with a high A note. If you play A add 9 like this, okay, just like, like this, you're still too close to the original A sound, and that's why I prefer playing it like this, okay? 5 on the first string, 2 on the second, and 4 on the third. 5, 2, 4, with the open A string. And this creates really cool intervals. And it creates voice leading as well, because see, it creates musicality. It creates a sense of motion. Instead of just... Which is the predictable guitar sound. It's beautiful, but it's done to death. So, E minor 7... A add 9 are really, really cool ways to play this. Now, there is another way to make this interesting, but it's a little darker. It's a little darker. So it's more a matter of taste. You can play E minor and then play the same idea voicing wise, but with C sharp on the fifth string. Okay? It's in Hotel California, if, uh, if you want to know. This is not C-sharp diminished, as many people think. This is actually A9 over C-sharp. This is actually A9 over C-sharp. Because you have the 9, you have the 7, and you have C sharp, okay, so it's so it's A9 without the A note in it. Now you can add the A note to it, okay? You, what I'm playing right now is 
four on the fifth string, two on the fourth, okay? So, to it but the high note wouldn't work so you can use your little finger and play a on five on the sixth ring and then you get the full chord but I think it's less effective I think that C sharp on the bass is far more effective because of the voice leading sound You can try adding the C sharp to the A at nine chord, but you know, <laughs> do it at your own peril. All right, so I'll see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have fun and um, see you soon. Bye for now.